Rachel, thank you. Well, it's no secret here. We love our military veterans at NBC 15 News, and we salute them every single night at 10 o'clock. Tonight, we introduce you to an American hero who fought with valor on the battlefield, but because of red tape, waited decades to be recognized for his heroism. It was a surprise 90th birthday today for Mobile's Roland Edwards Sr. Family and friends gathering to wish him a very happy birthday. He has seen a lot in his lifetime, serving in the Korean War. Mr. Edwards has difficulty speaking these days, but his family has no problem talking about him. So my grandfather um, is the epitome of a uh, war hero. Mr. Edwards was in the 1st Infantry Division, among the first to land on the Korean Peninsula and part of a historic group of men. He was actually a part of the, the unit that implemented the first African Americans into the Korean War. Not only was he among the first to go into Korea, he was the only one in his unit to leave. Everybody that was on this mission with him, they died. Uh, so we lost all of them, and he was the only one to survive. He also survived lost in the jungle for seven days before being found. He also survived a grenade blast, wounds that earned him the Purple Heart. Unfortunately, it came 65 years after the fact, long overdue recognition for a true American hero. And we here at NBC 15 want to wish Mr. Edwards a very happy 90th birthday and thank you for your service to our country.